you should stop for today and get some sleep. So yes, sir. Monday. Cool, we're already halfway through okay, May. Okay, let's get started. It felt like April was like super long, and I was like, oh man, this game is gonna be. Su I know it is gonna be super long. I'm not saying it's not gonna be super long, but it felt like it was gonna be even longer. But then May has just been like bang, 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 bang. Already, we're halfway through it. That's crazy. Hey there, I'm... Hey there. Who speaks like that? Hey there, I'm Dr. Maruki, your school counsellor. Thanks to the school, I can even talk to you outside of counselling now. I want to talk a little about how mental health and perception can affect you. Don't worry, I don't want to stress you out or anything. Just relax and listen. How much do you guys know about the emotional mind? So... See, what's going on in your mind can affect your body pretty significantly. There's proof of it. There's proof it can even heal you, depending on your outlook. So, Parker can. Any ideas? What do we call the phenomenon where believing in a treatment's power is enough to improve your condition? Placebo? The placebo effect. Yeah. The spasiba effect. <laughs> the placebo effect. This is it. That's right. Sweet. Didn't even need to check the touchpad answers for that one. Some people specify that placebos don't actually have any curative properties. But even if the medicine does nothing chemically, it can affect your perception and help you feel better. On the other hand, if you don't trust the medicine to begin with, it might make you feel even worse. We call that a nocebo. Really? Really? That is, that is a, that is so dumb. <laughs> I can't believe, is that an actual scientific thing? The placebo makes you feel happy. What if it, what if, what if it doesn't work? What if it makes you feel bad? No, Seba. <laughs> Come on. Come on, the entire scientific community. What are you doing? <laughs> Did you get that question? I wasn't even close. Maybe I should ask if I can borrow his notes. Maybe you should. Nice going. Wow, you must be really smart. Ding. Hmm. That's just one example, but my point is more my point is that our minds and bodies are more connected than we think So it's important not to push yourself too hard. Remember your mind needs time to rest too And it's my job to help with that. So come by the nurse's office whenever you're feeling down hmm. The mind affects the body, huh? You think I'll change back into a human if I just believe in it hard enough? No, no, I do not After school are we going to get to choose what we do with our time today for like the first time after school in a long time? The Madarame exhibit is great. You've got to go see it. I've been feeling pretty down lately. Maybe I should go to counselling. I never knew that art could be so explosive. Have you been to counselling yet? Huh. The Madarame exhibit, eh? When is it until? Got a little bit to go yet. I imagine. I don't actually know. Phantom thieves going by train. <laughs> This ain't any different from how I get home from school, you know. Nope, I forgot we're going to the place, so we can't choose what we do with our time after school today. I'm suddenly a bit worried about, like, stats and ranking everyone up, because at first I thought, like, this is going to be absolutely no bother. There's so many days, like, it's all going to be fine. But then, it's whizzed through half a month without giving me, like, a bunch of time slots. And so suddenly I'm like, oh. Because you've got no way of knowing in advance like just how whether you'll be allowed to do stuff on a certain day or not so i guess we'll see as we go through the train is the fastest way to go plus we can bring pets on here not that that hey, actually you calling a pet? <laughs> not that, that actually matters considering he sits in my bag the entire time anyway so no one would know dude be quiet we didn't pay the pet fare i'm the one guiding you to your destination you should be calling me master yeah i don't know about that one mate Oh, kitty! Innocent girl. Shoot. Be careful or the kitty will tell you to fuck off. Is that your pet, mister? I heard it meowing. It's a stuffed animal. <laughs> yeah, it's just a toy. It meows when you press on its head. Please press on his head, on. You heard her. Press on its head. Do it. This is ridiculous. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. That's so good. I love it. Wowie! Again, again! Time to button mash. Wow! 
Oh my god. I'm so tempted. I should press gently. No, no. I'm so I wanna see what that is, but I can't. That's that's mean. No animal cruelty in this house. No. Cat's drooling. The next stop is Shibuya. Shibuya. Doors will open on the left side. I can't believe that that only happened because we chose the stef stuffed pet option. Like, that was brilliant. What a great little moment. And I, I assume that wouldn't have happened if we'd chosen one of the other options. Oh, this is our stop. Well, see you later. Bye bye. Mm hmm. Bye bye. That was so good. I wonder if I've missed any awesome moments like that so, which by choosing different to? options before. So, which line do we got to transfer to? Doesn't look like there are any stations close by to that address. If anything, this is the closest station. Well, that's great. What? And we got to walk the rest of the way? What kind of phantom thief takes the train and then walks to their destination? Stop your complaining. It's supposedly a shack but this is the neighborhood he lives in. As expected of a famous artist, looks like the fastest route is to get to the station square and then go to Central Street. Let's move. Okie doke. Uh, we haven't... Have we seen... Oh, no, we have seen this before, just not from this angle. Right. Um, any any good hey. bread? Don't you think we should Let's hurry? do that later. We have to go to it. Okay. No bread for us. We can't get to Central Street this way. We'll have we'll have to exit to the station square. Okay, I have no idea where that is. Is it this way? I assume it must be this way, because that's the only other option. Sure is. Chitter chatter, chitter chatter. The Madarame exhibit was wonderful. He really is the best. My only regret is that it was so crowded I couldn't spend more time there. I know. Once they showed us on TV, all the people with just a casual appreciation for art flooded in. I wish I could bring one home to enjoy whenever I want. Maybe I'll ask my husband to buy me one. Ah, you terrible people. Oh, I hear some sirens. I hear you went to see Mr. Madarame's exhibit. May I ask what you thought of it? Ah, it was amazing. Every piece on display was absolutely superb. Mr. Madarame truly is the pride of Japan's art world. He's so talented and yet so humble. Mr. Madarame's personal exhibit opened just yesterday, but it's already a huge success. Tickets, unsurprisingly, are extremely hard to come by. Back to you, Ken. Nice. Sup. I wish I could paint again. It's his fault I have to live such a shitty life. Oh, Madarame? Who do you mean? It's got nothing to do with you. He's fooled everyone. You're all idiots. Then then out him, my guy. Literally, what, life could not get worse for you than it is at this current moment. So, tell your tale, mess him up, and maybe things will improve for your situation, you know? Hey. Okay, don't have time. Is a street orator here? No, it doesn't appear so. Wait. You sure it's this way? I don't remember seeing a house. Uh... It's supposed to be in a residential area past Central Street. We'll have to walk a bit though. Okay, let's get going. Bada bada bada. SIU director. Teacher at Shujin Academy. He's the one that's working with Say, right? Reason for turning himself in is uh, a heavy conscience, huh? The human mind doesn't change that easily. Let alone their natural temperament. <sighs> Shujin Academy. Seems doubtful. Perhaps I'll have someone look into it. Just in case. Bow, bow, bow. Bing, 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 Is bing. that it? We're at the right address. The door plate does say Madarame. Uh, you ring the bell. Me? The walls won't collapse when I do, will they? No one sneeze or we'll blow this house down, okay? 
We'll huff and we'll puff and we'll blow your house down. Who is it? Sensei is currently... Um, it's Takamaki. I'll be right out. People really do live here. Takamaki, sir. You two are here as well? Hey. Hey! <laughs> Sorry, but, uh, we ain't here to talk about the modeling thing. There's something we gotta ask you. Is it true Madarame's plagiarizing stuff? He's abusing people too, yeah? My dude! You can't just say it like that. Isn't the exact reason that we all agreed not to talk to the bully about it? Because if we ask people in the real world, then it could get back to Madarame, right? That was the exact reason that we said let's not go and ask the bully. And then you come to Madarame's house and ask that. What? Are you serious? We read about it online. This? <laughs> Preposterous! Not only is the plagiarism impossible, but abuse? He welcomes pupils into his own home. This is no act of violence, it is charity. Hmm. And I'm the one residing here and studying under him. I'm saying it's not true, so it's beyond doubt. I wonder if he has something to hold over him? Because, like, obviously it is true. Unless, unless this dude's in on it as well. You might be lying about it. That... that is utter rubbish. Hmm. I had no family when Sensei took me in and raised me into what you see now. If you continue to ridicule the man I owe my life to, you will rue this day! Man, you this really dude. You think that? This dude is someone else. Yusuke. What's the matter? I heard you yelling. These people are slandering you with baseless rumors. Oh, this is going very well. Forgive them, Yusuke. They must have heard some bad rumors and came in worry for their friend's safety. <sighs> Understood, Sensei. Well, even I doubt that a cranky old man like myself could be liked by everyone. That's not what we meant. I'm sorry to have butt in on your conversation. However, I do have neighbors around. Won't you please keep it down? Now, if you'll excuse me. <clears throat> that was discourteous of me. I'm sorry. I know. I think you'll be able to believe in Sensei if you saw that painting. It's his maiden work, as well as his most representative piece. It's titled Sayuri. Sayuri? This was the painting that inspired me to become an artist. Wow, and then you got taken in by the guy that drew it? That's a pretty lucky, man. If only everyone had such luck in life. It's so beautiful. I don't know all this fine art stuff. But even I can tell that this is impressive. When I first saw you, I felt the same powerful emotion as when I saw this painting. Me? I wish to pursue beauty like this. And I believe drawing you will be part of that pursuit. I implore you, seriously consider my offer. I'm sorry that you took the time to come all this way, but I must assist Sensei today. I hope that we can discuss this further another time. If you'll excuse me then. Okay. Those two seem like nice guys, don't they? Yeah, apparently, but appearances are deceiving. Or can be, at least. Maybe the Madarame we heard about in Mementos is a different person. Man, right when we thought we found a new target, too. How's the MetaNav? Oh, well. Hey. The app. Was it picking up our conversation? This display. It means that Madarame has a palace too, right? But why? Madarame, plagiarism, and then Shaq, huh? These seem to be the keywords. For real though, what the hell's going on? Does an old man like him really have a palace? 
We have the person's name and the location. All that's left is the what that Madarame mistakes the shack for to enter his palace. You mean like how Kamoshida thought the school was his castle? Hmm. That's right. Let's try saying some things. They can be random guesses. It's a bit sudden though. Why don't we start with castle? Well, it's not going to be the same thing twice. No candidates found. Then what about prison? No candidates found. Ah, what a pain. You've literally tried two things, my dude. Jail, a warehouse, and guidance counseling office. Might as well add farm. No candidates found. Not a single hit. Should we come back another time? A building that's related to artists. If we think from there, what would it be? Uh, gallery? Art school, art supply store, museum? I feel like museum, probably more likely. Beginning nice. Beginning navigation? Whoa, really? Okay, we're going straight in. I did not expect to be doing this today. Hey, when did you activate the nav? You surprised me. Didn't have much of a choice. I think we just happened to get it right. What if I hadn't noticed and then wandered off and got caught by an enemy? How would you not notice? Probably would have figured it out once you started walking on two legs. <laughs> So even you can slip into the metaverse without realizing it, Morgana? Yes. In a place with minimal cognitive distortion, the differences can be subtle. Forget that. Look! Oh yes, look at this subtle difference next to us. That shack is seriously some kind of museum? Apparently. Let's go check it out. Okay. Okay, I did not expect to be starting a palace today. It's so extravagant. To the point that it's gaudy. It's a museum, right? Well, that is what we said that led us in here, so yes. This is Matarame's? Well, a palace is a world formed by a mind twisted by desire. Remember Kamoshida's castle? Matarame's artwork is on display at museums in reality too, though. This exhibit was popular, and people already respect him. Why would he fantasize about a museum? You got a point. It ain't related to plagiarism or abuse, either. Hmm. That is a good point. Let's try looking around. Racking our brains here won't do us any good. Right. That aside, ain't a museum a must for Phantom Thieves? Yeah, definitely. Now that's our joker. I feel the same. But man, just look at that insane crowd. Yeah, we're gonna need to find another way in. <laughs> I ain't about the queue life. Even though I am British. Well then, it's time we began our infiltration. Ugh, are we gonna have to wait in that gigantic line? <sighs> Very stupid, we're not going in the front door. But there's a high wall around the building. Oh no. Whatever will we do? Looks down at Grappling Hook. How will we get around the high wall? If only there was some way, some bit of kit that we have used multiple times before. Shall we go? We'll just have to find our way up over it then. In any case, let's get going. Is it not going to be the Grappling Hook? Uh, anything secrety? Does not appear so. Just, just straight up climbing. Okay. <laughs> yep. This is really how he thinks of that rundown shack. It's overwhelmingly shiny. It's not just, it's just not hitting me that this is that old guy's palace. That's why we're here, right? Come on, let's go check it out. Bloop. Okay, 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 okay. The exhibit is now closed for today. We await your return on another date. Hey, send more guards over here. Just the two of us won't be able to deal with this whole crowd. Oh. This is our chance. It looks like security is focused on the front entrance. That means there'll be less of them elsewhere. Let's go. Yes. 
security's tight at the front entrance. We should bypass them and head in another way. Okay. I was just wondering, because it looked like you could go that way, but then it wasn't marked on the map. I guess I should be... Oh. Oh. I didn't even... Yeah. I guess I should already be doing this. I wonder if I missed any in the car park. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. But we know for now. Hibbity hoppity bibbity bobbity don't stop till you get to the toppity. <laughs> Lovely, lovely. We're gonna be rich. Uh, we could go that way. Is there any point to going over here? I guess not. Yoink, yoink, yoink. I can feel it. I'm liking how different the vibe of this place is. Ah, open skylight compared to the castle. It seems like each of the each of the palaces palaces is going to be a really different kind of style. And I like that. Hey. Oh, the skylight's open. I think we can get in here. But it's pr a pretty far drop. Will we be able to get back out this way? Now's my time to shine. Hehe, <laughs> don't worry. I have a rope. I'm our tool specialist, after all. So, what's your call, Joker? Wanna head inside? Let's do this. How suspicious. It's quiet in here, almost eerily so. Oh. Hey, this... It's moving. Come on, we're in a palace. That ain't anything to be freaking out over. Hmm. hmm. The palace this reflects is... its ruler's heart. We may want to check these paintings out. Oh dear, what does it mean? Wait, what was that? Oh, right, the cover system. Yes. I forgot that that was a thing. I can feel it. Uh. <clears throat> yoink. I like the animation on that, that's cool. Right, I guess left to right then. Oh, hey, there's some kind of explanation here. Let me see. It's someone's name and age. What the hell? That can't be the title of the painting, right? Do you think this is the artist's name? Mm. Let's check the other paintings, too. I think there might be something important about them. So he views he views his students as his work, I guess? Hey, hey. I'm curious about the other paintings, too. Come on, let's go look in the next room. All right. Hey, hey. Can't go... Oh, sealed door. We can't get through here yet. Okay. Hey. This one has a full name. Hey. Okay. Damn it. This one's got a name and an age. Hmm. Look at this one. This is... I'm looking. Is... Oh, the biggest one, perhaps? Hey. This one's got a name and an age, too. Are all of them former pupils? Oh, no, not that one. Hey. This on floor can't all be portraits, right? Oh, hey. That is a cool doorway for an art exhibit. I love it. Hey, this doesn't make any sense. Madarame is famous for having a variety of art styles. But all the portraits on display here look the same. This is way different from what was at the... Wait a sec. Ain't this that guy we saw in Mementos? You know, the, the one who was shit-talking Madarame? Sure is. Natsuhiko Nakanohara. His name's written on the plaque. Dude, I don't get it. Why is there a painting of him in here? More important, why is his name written under it? You're right. Doesn't art usually have, like, the title of the piece or the artist's name? Sure does. Hmm, this is quite the mystery. All right, let's keep looking around for now. Hmm. Hey, look. So there's even a painting of this dude in here. Focus. 
crappy portrait. Huh? What? No way. Hey, isn't this a painting of that guy? He looks kind of cool in that. There's no mistaking it. He doesn't look this cool in real life. Huh? Wait a second. What do you think these paintings are? Patrons of the museum, Madarame's pupils. Yeah, Madarame's pupils. I think you're right. For real? All of them? But it was only Yusuke when we went to his place before. This must include former pupils as well. Only one remains now. Or not. Or he's keeping the rest of them locked up. Well, no, that wouldn't make any sense because the bully was out. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Taking hmm. into account what that Nakanohara guy said earlier, things are getting clearer. All right, let's keep investigating. We need something to further confirm our deductions. Boom, 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 boom. Gimme. Oh, wait, so that was just... So let me just check. I didn't miss any of these things, did I? Oh, yes, I did. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, and there. Wow, okay. Apparently, I was not being thorough. Okay, nice. I can't have missed any back here. No, I definitely got all the ones in there. Good, good. What is that? Oh, that's where we broke one already. Duh. Can we open this from this side? Wait! Shouldn't we avoid touching stuff if we don't need to? Like, isn't that just going to open the door so that we can get back quickly? There's some sort of brochure here. Hmm? What, you find something? We're here to investigate, so we should check everything that catches our attention. Oh, a treasure chest! Examine the pamphlet. Hmm. Is this a pamphlet? This is getting way too detailed for a freaking palace. Why do you bother making something like this? Oh, there's a museum guide on here. Let's take it with us. Oh yeah. Yeah, it might even show us the location of the treasure. Nice. That is a possibility. At the very least, it should be a good reference for the scale of this palace. Huh? But the map only shows half of the museum. I see. It says it's one out of two. <sighs> then the two order. Then the two out of two's got to be around here somewhere, right? Just how big is this place? We can worry about that another time. Right now, our objective is confirming Madarame's cognition. I mean, the palace was pretty huge before, the castle one, so... You know, it's not really a surprise that the, this one's big as well. We may have to reconsider our plan depending on what we find. I mean, he's got a palace. Seems pretty sketch to me. Yeah, I mean, the fact that he has one in and of itself confirms the dude's a douche. Straw doll. Nice. Uh, that's where we're going next. So hang on, let's go around here. Treasure chest spotted. Let's open it. Oh, I can't go behind the counter. Okay. Oh. Huh. It's locked. It needs a lockpick. We have four of those. Good thing we got making them. Luna cutlass. A melee weapon. Oh. oh, this beauty looks like it's just my size. This is mine now, all right? Go ahead. Yep. Now I'm even more of a threat. Let's have a look. Uh, Yeah, Luna Cutlass. Oh man, that is very nice. A sword from where rain falls sooner than usual. What? And the rest of us use that? Or is it is that actually specifically? I guess they ask because they're different they're different um they're different pictures, right? Like we use a knife or a dagger. Ryuji his picture's like a blunt tool, a rod or a mace. Uh Morgana's picture is the sword. And then Arn is I guess the rope. So she starts out with a whip. I don't know I don't know where else that would go. Nunchucks or something maybe? 
Uh, so yeah, I guess I guess we can't equip each other's stuff. So hooray for an upgrade for Morgana. Very nice, very nice. That looks cool. Giant sculpture. Ah. Although now that I look at it more closely, not so cool. Look at this. The Infinite Spring? A conglomerate work of art that the great director Madarame created with his own funds. These individuals must offer their ideas to the director for the rest of their lives. Those who cannot do so have no worth living? Hey, this is most likely about the plagiarism, right? Damn it, what a phony geezer. Boy, In geezer. Words, his pupils are his property. He doesn't even qualify as an artist if this is true. He's stealing the ideas from talented students in exchange for securing their livelihood. Makes sense. I wondered about those portraits on display. They must all be his pupils through his cognition. This even says that they have no worth. Couldn't this be about the abuse? Madarame will keep them around as long as they're useful to him. But the moment they're not... He's treating them like slaves or tools! Why is Yusuke keeping quiet about this? He's got no reason to cover this up. Hmm. He did say that he owes Madarame his life for being taken in. But still. When we were at the exhibit, I praised one of the pieces on display. But Kitagawa-kun acted strange. Maybe that piece was plagiarized too. What's the call? Ain't this enough to target Madarame? Yes. Faux show. Sure. Let's do it. That's what I'm talking about! <laughs> Hold on, you two. We should confirm these facts with Yusuke once more. Confirm what, though? It means we should get solid evidence that such crimes actually took place. This kind of is evidence in and of itself, right? This, this kind of place does not appear unless the person is super twisted. What a pain in the ass. Besides, there's too much we don't know about Madarame yet. Mm, you're right. I'll try contacting Kitagawa-kun. I might be able to get the truth out of him if I accept his modeling offer. Wait, you're gonna do that? <laughs> you all better come with me, okay? I'm scared to go alone. Famous, renowned artist, huh? Oh, this might be tougher than Kamoshida. Well, we'll just prep ourselves until we get confirmation from Yusuke. This is our first mission as real Phantom Thieves. We're gonna succeed no matter what. <laughs> the reason why Yusuke is hiding the truth, huh? Or the truth, comma, huh? Would you really forgive someone unconditionally if you owe your life to them? I'm not so sure anymore. What are you bringing this up for? According to Kitagawa-kun, Madarame isn't a problem. Is something wrong? Yeah, a little. I mean, I know Madarame is a bad person, but still. Maybe I'm so hesitant because I haven't actually met any of the, his victims. Apart from the person we met in the mementos. I guess. Yeah, I guess that part's totally different from what happened with Kamoshida. This might be an extreme line of thinking, but if an evil, po evil person isn't causing any trouble now, is there really a point in us stepping in? Well, you got a point. No. No. Rubbish. Step in. So we're going to let Yusuke decide if Madarame is worth going after or not? I don't know. If it were me, I'd never forgive that bastard. Okay, I mean, I guess let's see how he feels then. Yeah, I guess we could talk some more after that. Okay, let's meet in Shibuya after school tomorrow. Okay. Another box game for you. Sweet! Aroma Machine and Omni Vitamin. It's my order from the Home Shopping Program. Okay. Uh, items. Where, does the, where do gifts even go? Oh, essentials maybe? Yeah. 
A palm-sized machine that dispenses fragrance and moisture for desk workers. Uh, maybe I'd give that to the counsellor? Would he be considered a desk worker? Vitamins that cover all the bases of health for the busybody. Uh, maybe um, the dude that's running our website? I can't, his name's gone out of my head. I think it begins with an M. Hmm. Potentially, potentially. Okay. Our only choice now is to ask Yusuke about this. Do, do, do. Well, now we know that he has a palace, that in itself is useful information. Okay, um... What should we do? Mm. The truth about Madarame, huh? Let's ask Yusuke tomorrow. You must be tired. God damn it. Never can I ever go outside. Uh, can we make more lockpicks? Mm. Sure can't. Already making preparations to infiltrate the palace. I admire your enthusiasm. But you should stop. Aren't you tired? I don't want you to get hurt. Morgana, let a man do what a man's got to do here. <laughs> You really want to spend a whole 10 seconds making a lockpick? Oh, that doesn't seem good. Go to bed. Meanie. Right. Well, in that case, I'll just add this. We're going to pop the save. We're going to whiz all the way back to the olden days of 11 hours playtime and overwrite it with our current with our current 26 and 3 quarter hours playtime. Very nice. As we have begun to infiltrate the second target's palace. Exciting times, exciting times. This has been very cool. Thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the videos around, share the playlist around if you can. I would really appreciate that. And I will see you next time for more Persona 5 Royal. Thanks for watching. See you then.